satisfaction level of students on the security practices of Bohol Island State University, Bilar Campus. Statement of the problem. This study aimed to determine the level of satisfaction of students on the security practices of Bohol Island State University, Bilar Campus. Specifically, this study sought to answer the following questions. 1. What is the profile of Bohol Island State University Bilar Campus students in terms of age, gender, and year level? 2. What is the level of students' satisfaction and the security practices in terms of assurance, responsiveness, and attitude of the security personnel? 3. Is there a significant degree of difference in level of satisfaction in demographic profile of students in terms of age, gender, and year level? 1. Demographic profile of the respondents in terms of age. Table 1.1 represents the frequency and percentage distribution of the student's profile in terms of age. To calculate the percentage, use the formula P equals F over N times 100. From the table, ages 18 to 21 have 24 respondents. Ages 22 to 25 have 6 respondents. 26 above have no respondents with a total of 30 respondents. 18 to 21 have the percentage of 80%, 22 to 25, 20%, 26 above 0% with a total number of 100%. The table 1.1 shows that out of 30 respondents, 24 of them ages from 18 to 21, which is 80% of the total number of respondents, and 6 of them ages from 22 to 25, which stood at 20%. In terms of gender, Table 1.2 represents the frequency and percentage distribution of the student's profile in terms of gender. To calculate the percentage, use the formula P equals F over N times 100, where F is the frequency, N is the total number of respondents times 100. From the data, there are 8 males and 22 females, a total number of 30 respondents. Male gathered a percent of 26.66%. Female gathered a percent of 73.34% with a total percent of 100. The table 1.2 shows that out of 30 respondents, 8 are male which is 26.66 of the total number of respondents and 22 of them are female which stood at 73.34%. In terms of year level, table 1.3 showcased the frequency and percentage distribution of the student's profile in terms of year level. From year level 1, 2, 3, and 4. First year level have 5 respondents. Second year level have 13. Third year level 12. Fourth year level 0 with a total respondents of 30. First year level gathered a percent of 16.66%. Second year level 43.34%. Third year level 40%, fourth year level 0% with a total number of 100%. The table 1.3 shows that majority of the respondents are second year level which is 43.34% of the total number of respondents, while minority of the respondents are fourth year level which stood at 0%. 2. Level of satisfaction and security practices in terms of assurance. Table 1, 2.1 rather represents the weighted mean distribution and descriptive interpretation on the level of satisfaction and security practices of students in terms of assurance. Question 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We use the scale 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 5 means very satisfied, 4 means satisfied, 3 means neither satisfied nor unsatisfied, 
Two means less satisfied. One means dissatisfied. In terms of assurance, the grand weighted mean is equals to 4.336, which is interpreted as very satisfied. The table 2.1 presents the weighted mean distribution and descriptive interpretation of the student's level of satisfaction in terms of assurance. As shown above, students are very satisfied on the security practices and requiring visitors to sign or log on the security logbook as well as requiring students to wear uniforms and the availability of CCTV cameras around the campus. Students are satisfied in controlling access to school buildings during school hours and enforcing strict dress codes. The obtained grand weighted mean is 4.33 which means that the level of satisfaction in security practices of students in terms of assurance are very satisfied. Solution for number 2.1 Equivalent of scale times number of respondents, F equals weight for the W. 5 scale times 11 frequency equals 55. Total weight divided by total frequency equals weighted mean. Formula for general weighted mean, add all the weighted mean and then divide it by the total number of questions. So here it is, is the solution in terms of assurance. Questions 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And the above is the scale we use, the 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. F is the frequency, W is the weight. Then the TF is the total frequency, TW is the total weight, WM is the weighted mean, and the description. The 5 scale, then the frequency of 11. So 5 times 11 equals 55, that is the weight. Then the 4 scale times 15 frequency equals 60, that is the weight. Then 3 scale times 4 frequency, so the weight is 12. 2 scale times 0 frequency, the weight is 0. 1 scale times 0 frequency, so the weight is 0. Total frequency. We have 11 plus 15 plus 4 plus 0 plus 0 equals 30. Then the total weight, we have to add all the weight. 55 plus 60 plus 12 plus 0 plus 0 equals 127. Now to get the weighted mean, we have to divide the total weight over total frequency. So 127 divided by 30 equals 4.23. In description, it is interpreted as very satisfied. Same process to question 2, 3, 4, and 5. To get the grand weighted mean, we have to add all the weighted mean from 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then divided it by the number of questions. So the grand weighted mean is equals to 4.33 and it is interpreted as very satisfied. In terms of responsiveness, Table 2.2 represents the weighted mean distribution and descriptive interpretation on the level of satisfaction and security practices of students in terms of responsiveness. Question 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. With a grand weighted mean of 4.26 and interpreted as very satisfied. Table 2.2 represents the weighted mean distribution and descriptive interpretation of the student's level of satisfaction in terms of responsiveness. As shown above, students are very satisfied on the security practices and availability of security personnel at any time. Presence of security officers while employees, students, and visitors are arriving or leaving. Presence of security officers during school activities, 
responsiveness of security personnel on any reported illegal activities in the campus and security guards' participation in security enforcement and patrol. The obtained graduated mean is 4.26, which means that the level of satisfaction and security practices of students in terms of responsiveness are very satisfied. Solution for number 2.2. Equivalent of scale times number of respondents, F equals weight for W. Total weight divided by total frequency equals weighted mean. Formula for general weighted mean, add all weighted mean and then divide it by total number of questions. Questions number 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 with a scale of 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 in the above. F for frequency, W for weight. TF for total frequency, TW for total weight, WM for weighted mean, and its description. The scale of 5 times a frequency of 8. 5 times 8 is the weight of 40. 4 scale times a frequency of 21. So 4 times 21 equals 84. That is for the weight. 3 scale times 1 frequency. So the weight is 3. 2 times 0 equals 0. 1 scale times frequency of 0 equals to 0. Total frequency, we have to add 8 plus 21 plus 1 plus 0 plus 0 is equals to 30. Total weight, 40 plus 84 plus 3 plus 0 plus 0 equals to 127. Now, to get the weighted mean, we have to divide the total weight over total frequency. So, 127 divided by 30 is equals to 4.23. 4.23 is interpreted as very satisfied. Same process to question number 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now, to get the grand weighted mean, we have to add all the weighted mean. 4.23 plus 4.36 plus 4.26 plus 4.23 plus 4.26 divided by the number of questions divided by 5. So the answer is grand weighted mean is equals to 4.26 and interpreted as very satisfied. In terms of attitude of the security personnel, Table 2.3 represents the weighted mean distribution and descriptive interpretation on the level of satisfaction in security practices of students in terms of attitude of the security personnel. Question 1 through 3, 4, 5 with a grand weighted mean of 4.07 and interpreted as satisfied. Table 2.3 presents the weighted mean distribution and descriptive interpretation of the student's level of satisfaction in terms of attitude of the security personnel. As shown above, students are satisfied on the security practices in fairness and unbiased treatment of individual students, courtesy, friendliness, helpfulness, and respectfulness. The obtained grand weighted mean is 4.07 which means that the level of satisfaction and security practices of students in terms of attitude of the security personnel are satisfied. Solution for number 2.3. Equivalent of scale times number of respondents equals weight. Total weight divided by total frequency equals weighted mean. Formula for general weighted mean add all the weighted mean and then divide it by the total number of questions. Question number 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We will 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 in the above. F for frequency, W for weight, T up for total frequency, T W for total weight, W M for weighted mean, and its description. With a scale of 5 times a frequency of 4, so 5 times 4, 20, that is for the weight. With a scale of 4 times a frequency of 22, 4 times 22 equals 88, that is for the weight. 3 times 3, 9. 2 scale times 0 frequency equals 0. 1 scale times 1 frequency equals 1 for the weight. The total frequency is 4 plus 22 plus 3 plus 0 plus 1 equals to 30. Total weight 20 plus 88 plus 9 plus 0 plus 1 equals 118. Now, to get the weighted mean, we have to divide the 
total weight over total frequency. So, the answer is 3.93 and it is interpreted as satisfied. Same process goes to question number 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now, to get the grand weighted mean, we have to add all the weighted mean over the num total number of questions. So, 3.93 plus 4.06 plus 4.13 plus 4.1 plus 4.16 divided by 5 so the answer is 4.07 and it is interpreted as satisfied 3 now to answer the significant degree of difference between the age gender and year level there is a significant degree of difference in level of satisfaction in demographic profile of students in terms of age gender and year level We answer this question by using the, the ANOVA test. Since there are three groups, which is the age, gender, and year level, ANOVA test is an applicable used test. Table ANOVA. With a p-value of 0, 0.0, decision. Reject the null hypothesis. Interpretation significant conclusions the null hypothesis is rejected and the alternative hypothesis is taken because 0 0.05 is greater than 0, 0.0 this means that there is a significant difference at least in one mean so the null hypothesis is rejected and the alternative hypothesis is taken because 5 5156.186 is greater than 3.101. This means that there is a significant difference at least in one mean.